Hey everyone, Justin here. Um, I just want to do a little quick intro video to the video you're about to see here to give you an idea of what you're about to watch. Um, we've got to play our first round of games for the Mordheim campaign today down at the Cove. And um, this was the one game I was able to record. Um, it's a little bit chaotic. It's the first time recording a bat rep, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you want to see it recorded a different way, let me know. Um, and again, uh, like I said, it's a bit chaotic. I tried to get as much as I could. Um, so bear with me, it's my first time, and I wanna get better from here, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. Hey everyone, Justin here from Coal Legion. We are beginning our turn one of the Mordheim campaign here at the lovely Alchemist Coven games in Schuylkillhaven. Got a whole bunch of different games going on, so hopefully you'll see some bat wraps or at least some quick write-ups of that. Uh, for my turn one, I am playing Tim. Say hi, Tim. Hi. And uh, we're going to show you the table we got here, and then we're going to show you uh, the war bands that are actually playing, and I'm going to roll for my wizard. Uh, we did roll up Skirmish already, so we're playing on a fairly open table here, which should be interesting. Um, I got the same warband that was showing in my video I did here, so I got the two best of gores, I got my uh, hero leader here, my wizard, and then two groups of henchmen. Um, so I'm going to roll up first here for my wizard to see what I have for the campaign. And I'm sitting at a six with the glare. That is awesome. So I will be having world or word of pain. All models within three inch of the chaos mage, friend or foe, suffer one strength three hit, no armor saves allowed. So that'll be interesting. I'm now going to have to run him solo with no armor. So that'll be sitting what I'm sitting at. Uh, we'll show you Tim's warband here in a second. All right, so here we got Tim's warband. He's going with something a little bit different. Uh, I'll zoom in here. Tim, you want to explain what we got here? We've got one dwarven normal with two dwarven clansmen, all with shields, grommel armor, and dwarven axes. There we go. Super beefed up, super small, and a warband of 15. I had to make sure he was checking right when he did that, but uh, it's a pretty beefy strategy. We'll see how it works. Those guys are going to be tough to take out. So we're going to go ahead and roll for the, the board, get the terrain set up, and we'll show you back here with turn one. All right, so here we go for turn one. We got the warband set up, uh, skirmish, eight inches from the edge. He's got his nice tightly packed, so it should be good. Uh, so we rolled off, turn one is going to go to me first. Uh, so we will get everything moved here and um, show you where to go. Uh, we've decided just to make it easier. We're gonna show you just snapshots in between the turns. I'm gonna do a quick video editing review. If you guys would prefer to see an entire hold the camera and move everything because you want to watch a two hour bat rep, then uh, let us know so we can adjust that in the future. But we figure just for the ease of quickness until we get the hang of all this stuff, we'll just do kind of uh, turn updates as we go here. All right, turn one done. We just got the uh, beastmen have just ran up a little bit here to kind of close in and hopefully wrap around. Um, and the dwarves have ran their mighty six inches up. So I have a feeling most of the fighting is going to happen in here somewhere. Um, so yeah, we'll go to turn two here and get it rolling. All right, guys, end of turn two. Uh, again, very quick and slow in the same sense here. Uh, we got the beast line moving up over here. These guys are going to start to kind of come around on a flank, hopefully. Um, but we got the doors moving, still moving forward. It's just going to be kind of a slaughter fest here in the center, it's looking like. So we will go to turn three. Um, we'll actually should start rolling some dice here if we decide to do any charges or anything like that. So we'll get into that here shortly. Weeks ago. Okay, so we're in the middle of turn three here. Um, we got some shooting to do. Beastmen have still moved up, try to get on surrounding here. So I have the one. Ungor here, who's going to try to get a shot uh, here. I'm in, but I don't think I'm going to get a shot because of where he's sitting, so that shot is going to fail. And we got a 16 inch shot over here with a short bow with the Ungor Raider there. Uh, I'm definitely within, so it's going to be long range. Here we go with a ballistic skill of three, so needing a four, needing a five, needing a six because of long range and movement. And these dice are horrible with the player, but that is a one, so that is a whiff. So 
Uh, that is the end of my turn. You want to just move yours real quick here, and then we'll get into turn four. And there's a shock. They are charging forward to get in here first. And charging now. All right, this ought to be interesting. Here we go. All right, middle of turn five here. We got some combat going on. So I charged in. Uh, Dev Raiders in here, my chieftain, along with both, uh, I got Flagel here and Crawl, my two best Gores are in, and then two Gore have charged in here, this combat of Gore. So, um, all my stuff, my two best Gores have double hand weapons along with my chieftain, so they'll get to attack last. So I got two Gores who charged in, we'll get to attack him first. So we're going to do this one here on your guy there on the end. Uh, he has double hand weapons, so he's two attacks, weapon skill fours, so I need fours to hit. And I got one in there. Man, I really need to pick some different dice if I'm going to do this. Yeah. We will attempt to parry. Okay. Got parry roll. Failed. For one. All right, we got tough four on strength three attack, so I'm gonna need a five here. Yep, and that's a two. So nada. So now my next score was gonna hit in. I need five. Well, I said I needed four, so I got one there to hit, and you're gonna parry it. Go four, so you're gonna try to parry. Four, five, or six on a parry. Successfully. And he parried it. Outstanding. Okay. Now the slaughter ensues, so you get to attack me now. Yep. Slaughter. Yeah. So, Clansman at the double handed. Okay. And what's their weapon? Skill? Weapon skill four. So four to four, same. <laughs> it's, it's on a six. Strength three. Uh, my guys are tough four. Strength three, tough four is fives. Four. Ah. four. No wounds. All right, what do you got next? The other clans the other double handed. Okay. It's only you hits on a four? Yeah, because it's hits on four, wounds on five. Yep, wounds on five. We got a wand. Nothing there. Now the one that's going to hurt. Lord on Lord. Lord on Lord. Action going on here. Uh, weapon skill five. Two. Uh, weapon skill four. So it hits on a three. Yep. Strength three. Tough four. Yes. 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 Five is going to wound. Got a wound. Uh, he's got heavy armor, but you have a grommel weapon, and um, you said so it's going to do negative two extra. Yep. Grommel dwarven X. It's minus so two. So with the heavy armor, I can't save that. So we'll roll on a chart to see what happens. Two. A two. I will take that. Okay. So we got so we got a knockdown model there. All right, cool. All right. Um. So now my two uh, best gores get to attack with the double hand weapons. Mm -mm. So we got. We'll do Flagel here. Is gonna take out your guy on the end. Weapon skill four on four. Needing four to it's two. Two, so that's not gonna do it. And the other one here on the other end. Well we'll hit on a four. Alright, so with the double hand weapon, that is a strength six now. So needing a two. That's Gets it on a four. Uh, so strength six is going to be three. negative three to your save. So he needs six. He needs six to save. Nope. And no. So let's see what we get. We got two, of course, knocked down. I guess that's only fair. Which side? Oh, that was that, uh, the other side. Yep. Where's this one? Yep, that one there. Boom, knocked down. So we got some guys resting there. So that was the end of. Uh, actually, that was the middle of turn five on me. So it goes to you, bottom of five. All right. So we got the dwarf stood up. We go to combat. In his turn, it's initiative order. So I will have my two gore. And that will get to attack first. So we'll do this side here. And then we'll go to that side. So gore on the guy on the end there. Needing fours. One. Gets one. Parry. Successfully. Parry's on a six, so we're going to go to the next side. And, oh, two attacks. Here. Sorry, two attacks. And that's all right, because that's what I get. All right, so we've got some dwarves attacking here, back initiative two. So where are we going first? We're going to do Lord on Lord first. <laughs> Lord on Lord. All right, I am knocked down, so you have to... Auto hits. <laughs> yep. Auto hits, you got to wound me. Yep. I could exile Nothing. That's a, that's a whole lot of one. I will take that. So, my guy gets to keep looking up at this guy. 
Uh, Ooh, that would have been bad. So okay, so where are we going next? Because the, the, neither of the Klansmen can hit him, can they? They're busy. Yeah, they're locked down with the other guys. They're not in base space. Yeah. So, this Klansman against the two-handed. Oh, going up to the best of this time. Okay. I don't like the strength six attack. <laughs> yeah, strength six is tough. Uh, what, skill four? Yep, that's a whole lot of fails. Two, so nothing there. We go to the other side. The other one? A one. I am liking your dice, dude. All right, so we're going to go to turn six here in a moment. All right, so here we go, top of turn six. We're still looking at the chaos here in the center. So my lord will get to stand up. And everything will be by initiative, so my two gores will get to attack. So this is going to be pretty much the whole game, I think. But we'll do here on the right, and then we'll go to the left there. So two attacks, weapon skill four. There we go. Two hits. Four and five. Uh, nothing. So nothing. So two strength threes. I'm going to need what? Fives. Yep. So sorry for the bad camera work. That's a three and a four. I need to get a dice box. All right, so we go to the next side here. So double sixes, box cars. Parry on a four, so nothing there. So we got a two and a three. So we're hitting with nothing this game. Okay, um, so then it goes down to your two, all three of you guys are initiative twos. So they just hit me first. Yep. So we'll start with the Lord on the Lord, uh, of course. So four, four. So that's a hit. And a one for a wound. Because I'm, I'm not allowed to roll other things. MVP, go to your dice for me in this game. Clansman against the Bestigor. Yep. The Bestigor again. All right. So it's a three. So nothing there. And the other one. And nothing there, man. All right. So. We'll go, we'll start on this side with Flagel hitting the Klansman. He's going to have one attack, needing a four. Nothing on a one. We'll do the other. We'll do Crawl on the other side. Hits on a four. And then that's going to be a strength six. So needing a two. So I get it. And that's negative three to your save. Saves it. Saves it on a six. Now you get it. All right. Okay. So now we go to some Lord on Lord action. Yep. All right. Yeah, so yeah, one attack, six. and then you four to yeah, hit. Just hits it. And uh, sorry, guys, these dice are horrible. So that's a four. Um, and then it's gonna be the strength six again. Yeah. Gets it with the two, right? Yeah. Oh come on! And he gets it again. All right, he's getting one accounts. <laughs> All right, so. Jeez, okay. So that was the top of six. So now it'll go to you for bottom of six. So we're going to do the same thing again. This is going to be a really exciting battle. <laughs> All right. You're first. Monster mash, yep. So same thing. Gore on this side. Two attacks. Hits one on a six. Attempt to parry. Does not. And then does not wound on a three. Next score. That's one. Tip to parry. Successfully. Parry's on. All right. So then it goes to you for initiative. So, well, we'll keep the you know train going. Lord on Lord. Then the best Lord on Lord. This is out of two. Of course, because I can't roll higher than. <laughs> We guys are going to be exhausted this here, side. Suits swigging at each other. Another two. Another two. The other side. Right, and the other side. A one. A one. Ooh. Okay, so now it goes to me. Uh, we got Flagel on this side is going to attack, needing a four. Does not get it. So I just keep it on the sandbags there and roll there. Um, and then we go to the other side. That is a five. Hits. Uh, strength six. Needing a two. And he rolls a one. And my lord. Misses on a two. Man, this is a good game. Okay. Um, geez, so we're going to go to turn seven.
All right, we're gonna roll for the uh, Beastman Warband here. This dude's still looking at the battlefield. Um, I had two guys that actually leveled up, so I had Devorator uh, level up my Chieftain, and uh, Flagell, one of, no, I'm sorry, Crawl actually leveled up. Crawl leveled up, uh, which is one of my best scores. So okay. literal 2d6 for the Chieftain, and see what we get here. We got a six. Plus one strength or plus one attack. So roll I roll again. again. Two strength. So he is now plus one strength. So he's now plus five strength, which I will take. And that'll bump him up to five. And then let's roll for uh, crawl. Uh, an eight. Initiative or leadership? Roll again. Five. Leadership. So he just went up a leadership. So <laughs> he is now leadership eight. So he's now the highest leadership. Um, so that is all I had that advanced that turn. Um, so we'll go into my exploration here next. Six to attack the okay, rolling for exploration. I have four uh, heroes and I won, so I'm going to be rolling 5d6. And let's see what we get. Oh, okay. Box cars. And then add them all together. So we got... All right, so... That's what we're looking at. Those are sixes with the glare. Sorry about that. 12, 17, 19. So we're looking at 20. Four weird stone and d6 cards. Okay, so looking at 20. So I got four weird stone and the double sixes give me d6. Six gold, three, a whopping three gold, and four weird stone. I will take that. All right, so I decided to sell the four weird stone, which gave me 70 gold coins. So I come out of this with 70 gold or 76 gold coins total. Um, we've decided for this campaign that we're gonna do like all the rarity rolls and equipment rolls and all that. We're gonna give people time to think about. It. We're not gonna do it at the end of the game. Um, and same thing with updating Warband. That'll all be updated on the Facebook page. So we're not going to do that at the end of each game here. So, um, so there we go for me coming out of with 76 gold coin out of that and leveling up two guys. So we're going to go over to the uh, dwarfs and see how they fared after the combat. Okay, so we got a roll for the uh, the dwarfs here. We had one guy injured there on the left hand side, so he was his uh, henchman. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so one or two is dead. Four. And we got a four. At least, so at least they weren't rolling one or twos there, so that's yep. good. Um, and then, do we have anything that leveled up experience point nope. wise? So no. nothing there. So we're gonna roll in the exploration chart. Exploration. One d six for two. That's gonna be a two. One shard because I'm a dwarf becomes a three. Yay, dwarfs. Or one be yeah, one becomes a two. One becomes a two. Is that because they're tiny? You can fit 60. in small plates, more small places. So I get sixty income. All right. So he's selling a weird stone for yep. right. sixty gold coin. Um. Well, there you go. Because you didn't lose the guy. Nope. So that'll help you out. In next game mm -hmm. so there we go that's pretty easy so that was my game one of turn one um, we'll give you some updates we have a lot of different games going on today so we'll give you some updates some other ones so there we go not not anything too drastic but a good a good uh, go for game one